Hi friends, welcome to TurboMath channel. In this video, we are going to solve three questions about PEMDAS rule. In the first question, we have 6 to the power of 2 plus open parentheses 9 divided by 3 close parentheses, then times open parentheses 9 minus 7 close parentheses minus 6 to the power of 2. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They start from the left and they don't pay attention to the priority of the mathematical operations. They say 6 to the power of 2 equals 36. 36 plus 9 divided by 3 which equals 3. Then times 9 minus 7 which equals 2. Minus 6 to the power of 2 which equals 36. 36 plus 3 equals 39. 39 times 2 then minus 36. Again they start from the left and simplify the question. 39 times 2 equals 78. 78 minus 36 and 78 minus 36 equals 42. They say the final answer of this question equals 42. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question a step by step together. In this question we have exponent, addition, parentheses, division, multiplication and subtraction. To solve this question we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. And when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. According to the PEMDAS rule in this question, first we simplify these parentheses. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Now the question is 6 to the power of 2 plus 3, then times 9 minus 7, then minus 6 to the power of 2. Now we have exponent, addition, multiplication, parentheses and subtraction. Again we simplify the parentheses. 9 minus 7 equals 2. Now the question is 6 to the power of 2 plus 3 times 2, then minus 6 to the power of 2. Now we have exponent, addition, multiplication and subtraction. First, we simplify this exponent. 6 to the power of 2 equals 36. Now we have 36 plus 3, then times 2, then minus 6 to the power of 2 which equals 36. Okay guys, now we have addition, multiplication and subtraction. First, we simplify this multiplication. 3 times 2 equals 6. Now the question is 36 plus 6, then minus 36. Because we have negative and positive numbers on both sides, we simplify and we get the final answer of this question. The final answer of this question equals 6. Okay guys, if you're ready, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. In this question, we have 4 plus open parentheses, 20 plus 10 close parentheses, then divided by 10, then times open parentheses, 20 plus 10 close parentheses. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They say 4 plus 20 plus 10, which equals 30, divided by 10, then times 20 plus 10, which equals 30. Again, they start from the left and simplify the question. 4 plus 30 equals 34. 34 divided by 10, then times 30. 34 divided by 10 equals 34 over 10. 34 over 10, then times 30. 34 over 10 times 30 equals 102. They say the final answer of this question equals 102. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question a step by step together. We have addition, parentheses, division and multiplication. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations and if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. As you know, multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. 
According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify these parentheses. 20 plus 10 equals 30. Now we have 4 plus 30 divided by 10, then times open parentheses 20 plus 10 close parentheses. Okay guys, now we have addition, division, multiplication and parentheses. Again, we simplify the parentheses. 20 plus 10 equals 30. Now the question is 4 plus 30 divided by 10, then times 30. Okay guys, now we have addition, division and multiplication. In this step, we simplify this division. 30 divided by 10 equals 3. Now we have 4 plus 3, then times 30. In this step, we have addition and multiplication. First, we simplify this multiplication. Because the multiplication has higher priority than addition. 3 times 30 equals 90. Now the question is 4 plus 90. And 4 plus 90 equals 94. The final answer of this question equals 94. Okay guys, let's solve another question about PEMDAS rule. Negative 4 plus 4 then times negative 3 plus 3 times 6. What is the answer of this question? Can you solve it? In this question we have addition and multiplication. To solve this question we need to follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. As you know in this rule P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify this multiplication. 4 times negative 3 equals negative 12. Now we have negative 4 minus 12 plus 3, then times 6. Okay, guys. In this step, we have subtraction, addition, and multiplication. Again, we simplify this multiplication. 3 times 6 equals 18. Now we have negative 4 minus 12, then plus 18. The question is negative 4 minus 12, then plus 18. Now we have subtraction and addition. Addition and subtraction have the same level of priority, and when we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. Negative 4 minus 12 equals negative 16. Now we have negative 16 plus 18. Negative 16 plus 18 equals 2. And the final answer of this question equals 2. Guys, if you want to get the right answer of this question, you must follow the PEMDAS rule. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.